What's up guys, it's Tom and recently there's been a lot of uh, new videos about Uncharted 3 and especially the multiplayer and a lot of people have got the video, uploaded it to their channel, I know Broken's had a little vlog about it but I decided that I wasn't going to do any of that, I'd go in and try and analyse the what the footage that we'd be given. Now I took this off Taiki's channel but I know that a lot of people have um used it as well so yeah um let's get on with it so basically it was an interview with the co-president of um uncharted uh, naughty dog even christophe balestra french guy and i want you to have a look at this screen in the back because um, it, the grips and magazines are changing so I'm thinking after seeing that that maybe it's customizing your weapons the magazines and the the bits at the back I don't know what they're called they're changing um, here you've got new um, interface new layout uh, same layout but new look to it you've got a different scoreboard thing still got the same kill feed same um weapons and the maps are looking very very sharp and nice very realistic and detailed um we've got new maps such as this one and this one they're looking very nice um, here is a guy wearing a balaclava, um, which suggests that there is a character customization, and this is backed up straight after here. Now, this screen looks really interesting. Customization and um, basically, this guy has taken Procoso and just changed the settings here. You've also got, uh, and it says searching for any game, which probably means you can do this and play about with your character whilst you're searching for players. So that'd be pretty cool. And um, there's also the scoreboard there and a scoreboard here. And the game mode he's playing is one two three four five players still five players and this bit it looks like a exp bar so level here and the bar just rises as you um, increase in level and some dudes beer there lovely and a riot shield a riot shield there as well hmm. looks pretty cool mm. Guys in a battle. This is looking pretty sharp. It's looking like a very nice game. Oh, hang on. Just saw something. Middle guy's screen. He has a medal there. So, and I think he just turned on the scoreboard as well. So, scoreboard will come up about here. You get your medals and things there. So. It's looking pretty nice. Um, this new interface when searching for games. Or it might be just the character customization, not sure. It looks rather like Call of Duty with the whole um, one panel, then two panel. Um, but you never know, it might, it might be something else. Um, there he's scrolling and if I knock it back a little bit you can see this um, I'm only guessing but it looks like survival the survival logo thing maybe that's where he selects the uh, game mode he's playing um, guy turning green, Drake turning green there there Maybe that's power ups. I don't know. And he's got the shotgun. 
I hope they have new weapons. Oh no, RPG even. I hope they have new weapons because that would be just brilliant. Uh, once again, more character customization here. Um, guy with a Sunderland kit on. Um, here. Let me just scroll that back. Back to this screen here. Oh god, I got something in that. This screen here. Um, new melee, kicking off the edge like that. Looks very interesting. And there was a plane. So does that mean that vehicles are going to be introduced and air support and things? Because that looks pretty cool. That plane. And now they're back to the trailer, which is looking really realistic and interesting. Um, 3D compatible this game, hence the 3D glasses and he goes on to explain that um, it will have split screen because of 3D where they render the game twice for the, twice, one for the left eye and one for the right eye to gain the 3D effect and in turn they created split screen so it's pretty cool um, that definitely reduced the bickering around my house with me and my brother. Um, there's a plane. Maybe that's some significance. Hmm. That looks really, really detailed and nice. Um, this bit's quite interesting. Just watch this little clip in the TV screen here. Um, there's this old guy running and his clothes and everything are changing. It's looking very nice. Um, I swear we've seen this clip before. Hmm. They must have just stuck it back on. Because we've definitely seen that because I picked up on the scoreboard and stuff. <laughs> oh well. Um, oh, there we go. Multiplayer beta, 7th of the 5th of the 11th. Now that's either the 5th of July or the 7th of May. Now I think this was in. I think this was in America, and you lot have it the wrong way around, so it's probably that, and we've got to wait longer. But if it was that, that would be a brilliant. Um, I heard something that um, PlayStation Plus people and Killzone 3 people will get it earlier, well, by one week, but I'm not sure. But if so, good point of getting PlayStation Plus, because you really benefit from it. Um, because you'll get this quicker. Um, it's just looking. Oh, I just saw something here. I think this guy just got killed, and this is the guy who killed him. Um, and it's got his boosters here, and the scoreboard here. I'm only guessing here. It looks it looks about right. And is he taunting? No, he just ran off. Um. So yeah, all in all, it's looking very very good game. Um. And yeah, can't wait for the fifth of July or the seventh of May. <laughs> so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And to lose.